Hi, welcome to the Tank Rides. Very quick video today, just looking at some uh, Sun God winter style sunglasses that I, I actually have stolen from my wife. These aren't mine, they belong to her. And um, hence the colour, because that colour doesn't really suit me. Uh, but I just wanted to make a quick video about them because I think they're really quite interesting. Um, and great for this time of year, which in the UK is drab and dull and wintry. Um, and I have I have stolen these a couple of times and, and worn them out. And um, although they're not without their flaws, I suppose is the best way to describe it, which I'll get to in a couple of minutes. Um, really big fan of these glasses, that's the first thing to say. So what I'm going to try and do here is give you an idea of what it's like to actually wear the lens. I don't know if this will work, but let's give it a go. There we are. Right. The camera's reacting in a slightly strange way to that, but it gives you an impression of the difference that you get between normal vision and wearing these glasses, which really do set off the kind of greens and the yellows in particular I think they make the road a lot more visible uh, you know sort of things in the road like potholes and um, it's easier to see if you're under trees or in in dark and gloomy conditions it just it's almost a bit, bit bright actually today because those trees as you can see it's almost sort of uh, making the trees a bit hard to discern um, and whiting the sky out a bit on the camera and that is the one issue if it does get too bright um, they're not quite, perhaps quite so effective, they don't shield your eyes from the sun. But that's these particular lenses, obviously there's lots of different choices with this model of glasses which is the Velens, uh, which cost I think around £115. Um, these are a half frame version but you can get I think a conversion kit that will make them into a full frame pair of glasses. So the lenses that Sun God use, or that they manufacture, are According to them, and I suppose this is always, you've got to take marketing blur with a pinch of salt, uh, 8KO, they're called, 8KO lenses, um, which they claim uh, is the most advanced lens technology on the planet. Well, I don't know if that's the case or not, but what I can tell you is that, as far as I'm concerned, the clarity of these lenses is incredible. They're better, I would say, in terms of the clarity that they offer and the kind of the polarisation. Um, they're better than any other type of lens I've tried uh, on any kind of sun cycling sunglasses. Not that I've tried loads, but you know, compared to other well-known brands, I've tried a couple. These do perform really nicely. When I take them out in the wet, however, it is a bit of a different story. This morning it's rainy, about 13 degrees, and as I warm up, you can see that the glasses have steamed up. I don't know how easily you can see that. Obviously there's standing water on them, that's normal, but I'm struggling to see, particularly out of my left left eye, and obviously that depends slightly on the rider, depends on the conditions, probably depends on the helmet you're wearing, clothing, etc. But normally I find if I'm wearing a different, uh, different pair of glasses like Oakley, Jawbreakers, something like that, they will clear off the mist as you're going along once you get a bit more speed up. With these, unfortunately, it just doesn't happen. You know, you can keep on riding, you can cool yourself down a little bit, you can get some speed up. The mist won't clear unless you stop and wipe it off yourself. The other issue I've had this morning is these hinges. If you look at those hinges there, and how clearly they're focused at the moment. I tried to take these off uh, because I was struggling so much with visibility and uh, tried to put them into my rear pocket as I was riding and the arm just snapped straight off. It didn't snap off, it just popped out. You see, it's just a little, the plastic pops in. There's no uh, there's no metal here, uh, no metal screw or anything like that. It's just plastic that pops in. I won't do it now because I don't want to break them, but they come away really easily, uh, even when you're trying to ride. So that's something to watch out for. Obviously you can pop them straight back in again so you can fix them, but it's not ideal. I mean, you know, also you could lose that arm down the road, probably not even notice. So that's definitely something to bear in mind. The other thing to note is that you get a bunch of nose pieces with it. Four, in fact. You can see they're numbered. I've got one, two and four there. And I've got number three actually on the glasses. Uh, four, I think, being 
the biggest as it were so holding the glasses furthest off your face and one being the smallest you get a really nice field of vision there's not much in the way of obstruction in terms of bits around the lenses to get in the way of your field of view so that works nicely too given my concerns about the frames it's probably good to see that in the bottom of the box you actually get a little guarantee which says that uh, they're covered by for lifetime and if they break they'll be repaired just to be clear then i certainly would recommend buying a pair of these glasses Yes, I've mentioned that there is this flaw, uh, what, what I perceive to be a flaw anyway, um, with the build quality of the frame in the sense that the arms can come off when you don't want them to. But I think any quibbles I have about that are outweighed by the quality of the lens and the fact that if the arm does come off, you can still pop it back in pretty easily. So that's not the biggest issue in the world, not a deal breaker. Um, if I was going to own a pair myself, I'd definitely go for a different colour. You can see from the video of me earlier on that they don't suit me. And just to mention, in that video, I was wearing the number three nose piece. So, uh, and I have tried the number four, and unfortunately I did get that steaming up issue with all of them. But um, my wife who wears them says she doesn't suffer with the problem at all. So it's clearly something to do with my face. So all in all, definitely recommend them. And uh, yeah, if you have a pair, let me know in the comments what you think.